Hey all you viewers to be named later, how we doing today? Well, we've got something really different for the channel. As far as I know, this is the first blade I have ever brought from Artisan Cutlery to the channel. Now, yeah, I know, there's the nomenclature, everything else, okay? I know that I've brought their baby company, the CJRB, but this is the first by them. And I know you saw by that thumbnail, whatever else you clicked on, that we're going to take a look at the proponent. Well, um, <laughs> here it is. This is one of these that I saw, it and I went, holy F-bomb, that looks amazing. The big, huge fuller, the really, you know, Warncliffe, just massive style. I thought to myself, okay, well, if it fits good in the pocket, this could be a serious beast of an everyday carry. We got some issues with it. It's a great blade, but I have some issues, and it's probably not going to be one of my EDC choices. But let's get into some other fun stuff. Now, it came with an itty bitty, like little velvety bag. Um, artisan cutlery specs, but we'll get there in a moment. You know, care and maintenance. <laughs> and it even came with a lock pin. I wish I was kidding. A lock pin. As you can see, it really doesn't go all the way through, but it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get more here in just a moment, okay? But it came with a lock pin. So, here we go with the stats and the fun stuff. It's got an overall length of about 8.86 inches. Like I said, massive. I probably should have paid closer attention to the specs before I bought it, but I was really enamored with the black on black and the red pivot rings, and I, I just, yeah. The blade is about 3.85, and closed, we got about 5.02. Now, depending what you wear, like shorts, this is going to keep slapping your leg when you move. It comes in at 9.05 ounces. It's heavy. You know it's there. It's not, a, oh, I'm carrying it, I forget about it. If you're carrying it in a pocket, you're going to know it's there. Whew. All right. We have it with plain edge, flat grind, black PVD coating on the blade. I like your company logo is laser etched on there, as well as that stuff on the sides over here. And yeah, you can see some of the oil. It came really, really well boiled up. It is done in the Warncliffe style, and it has D2 steel. We do have a blackened stainless steel frame. Now, it does have a liner lock and... <laughs> sorry. Ah, the lock pin that goes in there. I just... Like, when you look at it on their web store, okay... It's got the lock pin in there, and then they have this kind of wrapped around. But um, there's really not a good way for a lanyard hole anywhere on this thing. I just... I don't know. There's going to be somebody out there who's a lot smarter than me who's going to tell me all the great stuff for it. So I, I really can't wait for that one. Now we have dual black textured G10 scales, and I love the little finger um, indentations they make here. It just makes putting it in your hand really enjoyable because your hand just seems to melt into that handle, and you're like, God, it feels good. Really big time forward jimping here. I mean, it goes all the way up, and it's not really hot spot conducive like when you're working with it. But okay, we only have one way to carry it, which is right hand carry tip up. Now, they say it's one hand, you know, one way, but if you look at this, you know you can just take some screws out and flip it, all right? That's just my opinion. Now, we do have red aluminum pivot, screw, uh, pivot spacers, as you can see. I do like uh, the little logo sitting right in there. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. They do have a ceramic ball bearing on this guy, which just makes me go, okay, um, it's a big, huge, burly blade that you got to give it a good little flip and a thumb. But that snap. Hear that? Yeah, you know that's locked into place. Will the flipper open? Now, <laughs> I, it says made in China, but this is what kills me. The company's based out of Chino Hills in California. On their web store, you do not see that they're produced in China. But on the box, made in China. 
So you guys take that for whatever you need to. Oh yeah, as far as I know, this is the first blade I've ever brought to the channel from Dirk Pinkerton. So I think that's kind of cool. A big, huge, burly son of a... It, it, guys, it, it, it's massive. But let's get into the cut tests and all that fun stuff like we love to do here on the channel. Now, if you're curious why I'm about to do these three, take a look right up there. You're going to see a card for why I do those cut tests. First one, like usual, heavy-duty stock paper. Oh, my God, yeah. Look at that. No pushing, no anything. Hardly any snowfall on that blade. Let's see if I can get a curly cue. Oh, where'd that go? Come here. Come here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God, that blade is poo, spot on. The reason why I like to get those curly cues, guys, is anybody can basically come and go sharp. But if you maintain that angle, you draw it slow, of course, now that I'm trying to get it. But the paper should curl back in on itself, kind of like it did right there. I'll show you those pitch, chips, abrasions, any of that fun stuff. Okay. Struggle test. I am really curious how it's going to do against this blade. I am really, really curious. Get it about center. All right, pull test. <laughs> Sorry. No, Bill, I have the camera on a stand, so it bumps into me, so it ain't going anywhere. I am so sorry for that, guys. But look at that clean cut. <laughs> it figures. Time to smack the camera, Chris. Stop ass. All right, slice. That looks more ragged than that pull test, but still. Okay. And, you know, the hero of the day, Mr. Ratchet Strap. And, yeah, I didn't like the sound of that. Let's try this again. That sounded a lot better. Still, yeah. All right, <clears throat> take a look at the blade like we usually do. Yeah, that just happens whatever you cut, it seems. But, yeah. No real problems, no real weird spots, no real chips, anything. Okay. So, I did the homework on this thing on September 3rd, 2021. And it's now September 9th, 2021. I found it on Amazon and Artisan Cutlery. It is not on Blade HQ. This model is not. On Amazon, this is going to run you $69.99. It is Prime eligible. On Artisan Cutlery, it's $93.33. It has not been reviewed on Artisan Cutlery, and on Amazon, it's been reviewed 19 times for a 5 out of 5 star rating. Okay, we are at the best part of the video. You guys know what time it is. It's time for questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below in the comment section. Do you think this one is a noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? I'm rating it kind of in the middle. I love the look of it. It is impressive as all get out. I guarantee you pop this thing out in a self-defense situation, it's going to freak somebody out. But I give it a thumbs down because of the weight and the slapping and the, oh, where did it go? I, I just, why? It has a good, strong lock sitting in there. And with that only going partially through, is it really helping the blade? I mean... I don't know. Like I said, I hope maybe one of you guys out there can tell me why this thing came with a freaking lock pin. Seriously. But still. Okay. A few first time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thanks so much for viewing this video. Look, I knew we do things really, really differently here on this channel, and I'm very, very grateful for that time you gave me today. Now, if at any point during this video, any of you guys watching got a good laugh like Bill Rivers with the struggle test, give me a big old thumbs up. It's only going to help trigger that algorithm to help get this channel exposed to some more people so they can see the same insanity that you are. Now, for you first-time viewers and long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why. What can I do to earn your subscription? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below, and let's see how we can implement that into future videos.
Now, after you've done all that fun stuff, in a couple moments, take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked it out the way, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Well, that's a great question. That's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much out there on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select for my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a safe day, a great day, and I'll see all of you in my very next video.